Good day, guys. Pokemon MMO was recently made available for Portmaster. So today, I thought we would go through on how to install it in ArcOS for the R36S and R36H handhelds. Although we'll be focusing on ArcOS, it should work for most devices that support Portmaster, like the RG35XXSP and RG40XXH. Since this is an online game, you'll obviously need internet access on your handheld, and as you can see, I'm just using USB tethering, but you could also use a supported wireless adapter. Let's get into it. We're over on our Windows 10 computer now. I've just gone over to the Pokey MMO Portmaster GitHub. And on this page, we want to download PokeyMMO.zip. You can just click on it. Once that's finished downloading, we'll scroll down a little bit. And it does have the complete install instructions as well as what's required. You can see it's currently tested working on ArcOS, Rocknix, and Panfrost, which is the recommended OS. If we scroll down a little bit more, there should be a link to the portable version of Pokey MMO on the official website. We'll just click that. And we want to scroll down a little bit and click download the client. They are the two main files that we'll need to download, but you'll also need to have your own copies of Pokemon Black, Emerald, Fire Red, Platinum, and Heart Gold. Also, if you haven't already created an account with Pokey MMO, you can do so on this page. You will need a valid email address, as it will send you a verification code the first time you log in on a new device. Once everything's finished, we can close off Chrome and open up our downloads folder. Inside, we should have our ROMs, the Pokey MMO Portmaster Zip, and the Pokey MMO Portable Client. We'll extract both of the zip files to this folder. You can just right click and go to Extract here. Once they're both finished extracting, it's going to insert the micro SD card from our handheld into our cheap USB SD reader, and we'll pop it into the computer. From here, we wanna open up the Pokey MMO ports folder, which is the top one, and we wanna copy all of these files, so just Control A, Control C. Go down to our Easy ROMs partition. If the Easy ROMs partition's not showing up, you may just need to assign a drive letter in disk management. I will link a short video on how to do that in the description below. Inside Easy ROMs, we're gonna go down to our ports folder and we wanna paste the files in here. Next, we wanna go back to our downloads and we wanna copy our ROMs over. It is important, they are all named, as you can see here. So lowercase Pokemon underscore black dot NDS for Pokemon black, Pokemon underscore emerald dot GBA for emerald, Pokemon underscore fire red dot GBA, Pokemon underscore heart gold dot NDS, and Pokemon underscore platinum dot NDS. Once you've double checked, they're all named as they are here. You can just control A, control C. We'll go back to our easy ROMs partition, go back to our ports folder, open up the Pokey MMO folder, open up the ROMs folder, and paste them in here. Once the ROMs have finished copying, double check the file names are all correct and they do match mine. We'll go back to our downloads folder once more. We wanna open up Pokey MMO client and we wanna copy the data folder and the pokeymmo.exe file. So with both of those selected, press Control C. Once more, going back to our easy ROMs partition, going down to ports, opening up the Pokey MMO folder and we wanna paste the data folder and the exe in here. If it asks you if you wanna replace any files, make sure you click skip these files. There's one last step we have to do on the computer and that's opening up the credentials.txt file. Just double click on it. Inside it should say username and password. Here, you replace the word username with your Pokey MMO username and obviously replace password with your Pokey MMO password. With your details entered, you can save this file by pressing Control S or going File Save and close it off. From here, we'll safely eject our SD card and put it back into our R36S. We've popped the SD card back into our R36S and powered it on, and now we will need internet access. You can use a wireless adapter or an ethernet adapter, but I just prefer USB tethering. So I've just connected my Android phone to the R36S over USB-C, and we'll just enable USB tethering, and that should be pretty much it to get access to the internet on our handheld. Since this is a fresh install of the latest version of ArcOS, I will need to install Portmaster. If you have already installed Portmaster, you can skip this step. Just going up to Options, go down to Tools, and go down to Portmaster. If it asks you to update, click yes. Once it closes, we wanna go back to tools and open up Portmaster once more. If it asks you if you wanna upgrade, press A. Once it says installed successfully, press A. You should hopefully get to the disclaimer. Wait the 15 seconds and then press A to accept. With Portmaster installed, we can just go down to exit and click A. With that done, we can press B to go back to the main menu, go to our ports folder. The first time you run it, you are going to want to load Pokey MMO GP to KB2. The first time you run it, you'll have a blinking cursor for around a minute, and then you'll have a black screen for around 30 seconds. Don't panic and don't press anything, just be patient. After a little under two minutes, you should finally get to the Pokey MMO logo. From here, it's around another 30 second wait, and then it should finally start its initial setup. Eventually, you should get to the language select screen. You can use the right joypad to move the mouse cursor around and press R1 for a mouse click. For me, I'll be using English, so I'll click unselect all and click OK. And we're at the login screen. Your username and password should already be saved from the credentials file we edited earlier. Make sure you use the right joystick to go down to remember me and press R1 to click and click login. 
If this is your first time logging in on the device, you should get a verification number sent to your email and it'll ask for it on the next screen. Unfortunately, I have already logged in and it did remember my device, so I won't be able to show that screen, but it's super easy to enter your verification number with the cursor selected. Press select once to go into text mode, press it once more to go into number mode, press up and down to change the number, press B to enter it. If you make a mistake, you can press A to backspace. To get out of keyboard mode, simply press start. Once you've entered the verification code, you can just go up to login, select your character, and we're inside the game. Use the D-pad and A, B, X, and Y buttons, mainly A. We've entered a battle, there we go. You can see the mouse cursor is in the middle of the screen. You can just move it to the far right side and it'll be hidden. So we'll go fight. So B is okay and B again to scratch. I think I'll just run. There we go. Start brings up your main menu and from here you can go down to exit to quit out of the game. The full list of controls is on the GitHub page where we downloaded our Pokey MMO Portmaster files. We'll exit out. Go down to yes. Thankfully, once it's initially been set up and you've logged in and verified the device, the next time you run Pokey MMO from ports, it should go directly to the login screen. It is also much faster to load, taking only around 30 seconds. The game itself runs okay. There are some little lag spikes every now and then, but it's definitely still playable. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.